let's talk about virtual machines and why they're so useful, especially for beginners in IT. A virtual machine, or VM, is basically a computer inside your computer. It's a software that creates an environment which acts like a separate computer with its own operating system running on your physical machine. Think of it like apartment buildings. Your physical computer is the building itself, and virtual machines are individual apartments inside of it. Each apartment has its own space, own furnishing, residence, kitchen, bathroom, whatever, all contained within the same building structure. So why should beginners care about virtual machines? Why is it important? First of all, perfect for learning and experimentation. If you want to try Linux, for example, but you don't want to replace your Windows laptop or you don't want to buy a new one, you can set up a Linux VM. If you want to test something potentially risky, you can spin up a VM. Again, its own isolated environment where it can't harm your main system and then just delete that VM once you're done with it. Now, VMs are also great for running multiple operating systems at the same time. For example, you might need Windows for gaming, but prefer Linux for development work. So on the same laptop on the same physical machine using vms you can actually have both operating systems running at the same time another very important use case is for learning it skills vms are invaluable because they let you create your entire test environments you can set up server systems networking configuration or development environments without needing to have multiple physical machines and many cloud services are actually based on virtual machines so understanding this concept will help you understand how modern cloud infrastructure actually works Let's talk about Linux, the operating system that powers most of the internet and why so many developers love it. Linux is an open source operating system that was created in 1991 by Linus Torvalds. Unlike Windows or macOS, Linux is free to use and it can be modified by anyone and it can be installed without license on any physical machine. And this has led to many different versions of Linux. They are also called distributions or distros, like Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and many others. So why do developers love Linux so much? First of all, Linux is incredibly stable and secure. Servers that are running Linux can often stay up for years without needing to reboot, for example, which is why it powers about 90-60% of the world's web servers. Linux also gives you complete control over your system, so you can customize virtually every aspect of it and look under the hood to see exactly how things work. The command line interface in Linux is also extremely powerful compared to macOS or Windows, for example, that allows engineers to automate tasks and work more efficiently than they could with graphical interfaces. And very important aspect is that most development tools and programming languages were originally designed for Linux environments. So they often work better on Linux than on Windows because they're what's called Linux native. Linux is also much more lightweight than Windows and can run on almost any hardware from supercomputers down to tiny devices devices like Raspberry Pi. The good news is that you don't need to completely switch your operating system if you're using Windows to start Linux. You can actually use a virtual machine, a dual boot setup, or even Windows subsystem for Linux in order to get started learning Linux. And if you want to understand how Linux skills fit into software development workflow and understand the basic concepts of it,
Good night.